Hey guys, it's uh, good to be with you all today. Uh, we're going to be talking about subtracting and we're going to show you a lot of different strategies to subtract and these may be ways uh, that you would have remembered from second grade. So, and we're going to be using this uh, subtraction problem right here. It's going to be 46 minus 28. And uh, the first way we're going to do it is we're going to do something called the compensation property. The compensation property. And uh, I want you to also look at how I um, wrote the subtraction problem. Um, I put each digit in a square there. So once we start using grid paper a lot more, that's going to be helpful for you uh, because typically one of the biggest problems that third graders have with adding or subtracting is not getting their place value lined up. So this is going to be a, a strategy that you can use to uh, to help you um, line up your place value. So the first thing we're going to do, the compensation property, we're just going to bas basically change a problem a little bit and make it a little bit easier problem to work on. So um, I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, so I'm going to say 46 minus, and I'm going to change to 28, I'm going to make it bigger to 30. Okay, and when I do that, it makes it a little bit easier problem because really all I need to do is take three away from the tens place. So that's a pretty easy subtraction. I could just go and say that 30 minus 46, I mean 46 minus 30, I just have to take three tens away from the four tens. Then I'm going to leave one ten and the, six, uh, the ones place is going to stay the same. Okay, but when I did that, I added two to the number I'm taking away. So uh, I need to do the same thing to my difference. So I'm going to add two more to 16. So plus two, 16 plus two equals 18. So that, uh, so I can e say that 46 minus 28 is 18. That's one method of doing subtraction. It's just a little way, it's kind of a mental way of doing it. Okay, we'll go down here. And do the equal add in addition method, equal addition method. So basically, I'm going to do something kind of similar. It's really still the, uh, we could still classify it under the uh, compensation property of subtraction. Okay, but we're just going to use addition to do it. And uh, just like I added, I changed my 28 to 30, I added 2 to it. So I just said 28 plus 2 is 30. And if I do the same thing, to my, uh, the number that I'm taking away from, 46, I can just add two to that, and that'd be 48. And now when I do the subtraction, okay, I don't have to, uh, like I did up here before, I don't have to add two to my difference because I added two to the number I was taking away. So I, I kind of added two before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my three tens right there and take away from the four tens. That's gonna leave one 10 and then uh, I, the, the ones place stays the same. So 46 minus 28 is 18. Just another way of doing it. Maybe a little bit easier. Okay. We're going to go ahead and look at another one. I kind of like this method. Uh, counting up method. I know a lot of times when we subtract, um, I see third graders, they'll start at the big number and they'll count backwards to the, um, to the smaller number. And that's a good strategy too. Uh, that's what would be a method that you probably used maybe in kindergarten or, or first grade, and maybe even second grade counting backwards. But to me, you'll get the same answer if you start at the smaller number and count up. I'm gonna show you how that works. And the biggest mistake that, uh, that I have students do when they do that, they use it, they count the 28 too. But we go and say, we say 28 in our head or 28 in our heart like this. So you go 28 and then I'm gonna start counting. 28, so 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. So I count it up to 46 from 28. So the difference is going to be 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the difference is 18. That's just another way of doing it. And I kind of uh, uh, developed that uh, um, just because that's the way I, I do it sometimes when I'm trying to figure out what the difference is. If I just start at the smaller number and count up to the bigger number, it's going to be the same thing as starting the bigger number and counting back to the smaller number. But it's just a little bit easier to count for than it is backwards, I find. 
Okay, and we're going to show you one last method to subtract. Well, I take that back. I'm probably going to show you the standard algor algorithm way of doing it too. And I'm going to show you that along with it. So typically in the third grade, definitely by the end of the third grade, this is how we're going to want you to subtract problems. This is the standard algorithm. I'll write that, write that over here. I may have spelled that right. Hopefully I spelled it right. So the standard algorithms, and typically when we subtract, do subtraction, uh, we're just going to stack up the place value. So 46 minus 28. So that's how we would do it. Okay, but uh, I'm going to do the pictorial model along with it. That way you can kind of see uh, the pictorial mo model is just a little bit more concrete way of doing it versus this way. So in the concrete model, this one I'm going to do, I'm going to take my 46 and I'm going to draw base 10 blocks. And if you remember, we draw base 10 blocks. Uh, I do, I'm do. i going to do the tens, and those are just lines. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40. And my units are going to be dots. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And whenever I draw base 10 blocks, I like to do it kind of similar to how you may have done it in kindergarten. If you remember 10 frames, you would have you would have uh, had a, it would probably would have been turned the other way. You would have done five across a, a row of five, and then started another row of one. Okay. And when I subtract, uh, I like to go ahead and uh, I like to use different colors. So uh, when I take away, I like to use a color red. Okay. But, and uh, typically a lot of times when I see third graders model uh, subtraction, they want to model both the numbers. And we're not going to model the number taken away because we're getting rid of it. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, look at the number 28 because I have the number 28 right there. And it shows that I have eight ones. When I look down in my ones place, I do not have eight ones to take away. So that means it's a regrouping situation. I, cannot, I can't regroup. And just like over here, uh, you might have heard this before. You, you've definitely heard me say it. Um, when I'm, ta I'm taking the bottom number away from the top number, so I cannot take uh, eight away from six. So there's more on the floor. I got to go next door and get 10 more. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this on the standard algorithm problem. Uh, and when I regroup, I like to use blue. So I'm, I'm not subtracting right there. I am uh, going to make my line a little bit. Let me erase that. No, I can't erase it. Can I? So I'm just going to make my, I'm going to change my line size to be a little bit smaller there. Okay. So I'm going to take one of my tens away, and that leaves three tens. And then... That's going to give me 16 ones now. So what that looks like over here, I'm going to take away one of my tens, just like I did right there, and I'm going to go ahead and move it over here to my ones place. That's going to give me 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now when I go ahead and I subtract, I'm going to subtract my color red. Now I can take away eight ones from that. I'm going to start with my ones I already had. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So whatever I have left is going to be my difference. So if I look at that, I've got a, a column of five and a column of three, and that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight from 16, I'm going to count up, I'm going to go 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 is 8. So in the one space, I'll have 8. I tried to draw a 6 there, didn't I? 8, I can fix that. Okay, now in the tens place, if you look in the tens place, I'm going to take away two tens there. So two tens, so that's easy. I'm going to get my red again. I'm going to take away two tens. I didn't get red, did I? My red, take away two tens, and that leaves one ten there. So just like here, two from three or 20 from 30 is 10. So that leaves one ten, which leaves 18. So I kind of showed you two methods here. This is a pictorial model, and this is a standard algorithm. And we, so let's review here. So I've got the standard algorithm. That's the way we want to do it by the end of third grade. Okay, we've got the pictorial model. 
Uh, and I see a lot of people do that. Y'all did that last year a lot. I got the counting up method and I have the equal addition method and we have the compensation property method. So we got one, two, three, four, and five different ways that we can model subtraction. So just if you, uh, if you didn't understand any of these, you can always go back and review it. And uh, this is what we're gonna be doing in class uh, on Tuesday. So this kind of give you a little bit of heads up. And if you say, for instance, you're out, uh, you can uh, re review this video and you're not gonna fall behind any. Uh, that's all we got and best of luck to you. We'll talk to you later.